Rape victims and lawmakers are demanding changes in the way rape kits are handled as the state faces a major backlog. KTVU South Castaneda joins us live from Oakland where one local congresswoman is introducing a bill aimed at getting sexual predators off the streets faster. Sal? Tara, yeah, that's uh, right. Uh, state legislators are taking a swing at clearing that backlog and that new legislation was introduced here this morning in Oakland. Assemblywoman Nancy Skinner, along with Alameda District Attorney and others, announced a new proposed law to force California law enforcement agencies to test rape kits, which she says in many cases remain untested for months, even years, in police evidence rooms. To not test a rape kit is a second assault on the victim. And it leaves a perpetrator, potentially a perpetrator, on the streets to be able to assault again. AB 1517 would require law enforcement to submit sexual assault forensic evidence to the crime lab no later than five days after being collected and uploaded into a crime database after no more than 30 days. Sexual assault victim Heather Marlowe says she was assaulted in May of 2010. She says it took San Francisco police investigators two and a half years before her rape kit was tested, even though police had a suspect. She says eliminating the delay will help other women who find themselves in her situation and speaking out, she says, was crucial. It's, not, it's neither good nor bad, it's just necessary. You know, I, I, I speak for, uh, you know, the other unknown amount of kits that haven't even been, that are supposed to be audited in San Francisco and they have been audited. Alameda County District Attorney says in Alameda County alone there are some 2,000 untested rape kits. She and others say it's time to catch up with the backlog. She says she supports this proposed legislation.